right, welcome back. You know, we get a lot of letters requesting a very simple little seascape that could show a nice sunset type sky. So I thought today that's what we'd do. I thought today we'd use a little, the little small round brush. And I'm just going to put a little bit of the, a little bit of the titanium white on it. Don't need a great deal. Let me wash the little brush here. Just wash it, shake it off. <laughs> Beat the devil out of it too. Now this time I'm going to add the least little touch of cad yellow, maybe even a little yellow ochre, right to my white. A little tiny bit of yellow ochre in there too. And I'm going to go right back in here. Don't just stop there. Keep going with it. All I want to show you is an idea to get you started and to get you to get you fired up and turn you loose on the world. Because once you learn this, then you can do anything. Let's take our tape off. Now we're ready to go. We can start playing. <laughs> Have to beat the brush one more time. Let me just take a little fan brush. Put a little, a little white on it. All right, let me grab a little filbert here. We said the eye of the wave was going to be right there. So I'm going to take a little bit titanium white put the least little bit least little bit of cad yellow into it not much not much cad yellow load the bristles full of color let's take a little of our phthalo blue a little crimson make a little lavender type color maybe even a little black in there there we go grab a little touch of the white that make a nice shadow color nice shadow color for our foam here we go back up in here. You can literally just about pick up any brush and do anything. <laughs> there, I'm going back to my little filbert. We'll put a little more of that white with a touch of cad yellow into it. And maybe, maybe, maybe right in here. Let's get crazy. What the heck? What the heck? Maybe, maybe. I just had another idea. Let's have that crashing against something. I'm gonna go into my Van Dyke Brown, black, dark sienna, just mix them up on the brush. All three of the very dark colors here. Let's have a great big stone that lives out here in the water. Maybe this is off the coast of California, Oregon or somewhere. I'm just gonna reach up here and grab a little of the white, a little dark sienna into it. It's the same old dirty brush. Out around California and Oregon. Sometimes maybe that seagull drops a seed up there. A little of that phthalo blue, brown, crimson. Maybe he drops a little seed up there from his lunch. And maybe a little tree grew up there. Maybe a little scraggledy. Is that a word, scraggledy? Maybe a little scraggledy evergreen tried to tried to grow right up here on the side of this rock. Now then, let's put some put some water down there. I'm gonna take white. I'm gonna get a little touch of that phthalo blue. That's so pretty. That'll touch it, they look blue. Something, yeah, maybe about like that. I'll wipe the old knife off. Now I'm gonna take and pick up a small roll of paint right on the edge of the knife there, a little knife, got the little knife. And you have to make a big decision here. Maybe, 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 yep. Push very hard, very hard. All right, as I say, this is one of the nicest, easiest, simplest little seascapes that you've ever tried. You'll like it. From all of us here, I'd like to wish you happy painting.